Good afternoon. This is the special coverage of the coronavirus crisis using the combined forces of News 5 and Signal TV's One News, Radio Cinco, and One PH. Outbound international flights at the Ninoy Aquino International Airport continue. This after the suspension order by the Civil Aviation Authority of the Philippines on all inbound international commercial flights in the country. Marian Enriquez reports to us live from the Naiya in Pasay. Marian, kamusta ang proseso para sa mga kababayan nating palabas ng bansa? Yes, Jess, pinayagan nga, nga makalabas ng bansa dito sa Naiyang. Ilang mga biyaherong ah, nais nga, nga lumipad, ano, base dito sa bagong nga requirements na inilatag ng DOTR, CAAP at IATF. Siyahing si Jean at Lorena Kaina para sa kanilang flight papuntang Amerika mamayang alas 11 ng gabi. March 12 dumating ng bansa si Jean para sana sunduin ang nagbakasyon niyang tiyahin na 77 years old pabalik ng Atlanta, Georgia, USA. Pero dahil naabutan nga ng lockdown sa Laguna, ipinagpaliban na muna ang biyahe. Laking pasalamat nila at tinulungan sila ng Department of Tourism para makapag-book ng ticket pabalik ng Amerika at bumiyahe mula Laguna papuntang airport. Na Una nang inanunsyo ni National Task Force Chief Implementer Secretary Carlito Galvez Jr. na layunin ng suspension order sa lahat ng inbound international flights sa bansa na i-decongest ang mga quarantine facilities at masigurong matutukan ang pangangailangan ng mga nauna nang naka-admit. Samantala, kasalukuyan ng ina-adjust naman ng Department of Foreign Affairs ang repatriation efforts nito upang mag-comply sa direktiba ng task force. Ayon sa huling talakahap, Meron ng higit 24,000 OFWs ang na-repatriate at sumailalim sa mandatory quarantine sa mga pasilidad sa Metro Manila. Paglilinaw ng Civil Aviation Authority of the Philippines, tanging mga inbound passenger flights pa lang ang suspended. Nananatili naman ang suspension sa lahat ng domestic flights sa bansa. Diyas ang mga outbound international commercial flights naman na nais pumasok at uh, lumabas ng bansa ay kailangan ngang mag-coordinate sa CAAP. Um, na at na order ng IATF kung ililist ba ito ng mas maaga o mas mapapahaba pa ang uh, suspension. Jess? Alright, maraming salamat. That was Marian Enriquez reporting live from the Naiya in Pasay. Solicitor General Jose Calida is warning the National Telecommunications Commission or NTC against issuing a provisional authority to ABS-CBN whose franchise expires on Monday. Kalida, who serves as the government's top lawyer and, in effect, the NTC's counsel, insists that a congressional franchise is needed before an entity can request for a provisional authority. Last February, the House Committee on Legislative Franchises urged the NTC to grant a provisional authority to the network until Congress decides on the matter. Congress is set to resume session tomorrow through online means and a hybrid setup like in the Senate. The Department of Agriculture will launch a digital marketing app to help farm producers connect to consumers amid a COVID-19 crisis. The app named eKadiwa is the first online digital platform developed by the DA. In line with quarantine guidelines, the app allows consumers to buy fresh produce such as vegetables, fruits, meat, fish, and others. The DA aims to promote safety and convenience to Filipinos as strict lockdown measures remain in place. Online delivery services like Lala Move and Grab will partner with the department for the delivery service of eKadiwa. There is still love in the time of coronavirus as a couple in Zhejiang Province, China, exchanged vows and said their I do's via online live stream. Ma Jalun and Zhang Yi Tong were supposed to get married in a big ceremony in October. But with the current health crisis, they had to drop their plans and opt for an online wedding organized by video sharing company Erjeng. The two exchanged vows in a two-hour ceremony attended only by the organizers and the camera crew. 
but it was live streamed to their families, friends, and around 500,000 viewers nationwide. The online weddings organizer, Zhao Yun, said the current pandemic may have started a new online lifestyle. And that's the latest on enhanced and expanded community quarantine. For more updates, follow News 5, The Philippine Star, and Business World Online. I'm Jess De Los Santos. We are One News.